and welcome to my channel Flame with a 4. In this video we are going to be unboxing the new um, Rick and Morty pot from Amazon. So this was put on as an error. I was, I was on the fence about getting this um, but it was on again and we always get the error pops when they're 12 99 So this was £12.99 for this and it's a big pop. So let me open it up and show you. If you all know and if you've always seen the new series of Rick and Morty you will know um, the toilet for Rick um, is like the sacred toilet that he sits on and you know somewhere he can just go to be himself um, you know just to let out all his poos and you know it's just somewhere and then he finds out somebody else is sitting on it I don't want to ruin it too much for you but this is it so I'm going to see if it's in good condition because I mean this is how it's just a king of shit um, don't mind saying that because my videos are set as not made for kids because I call this adult collecting um, even though they are for children as well but I'm setting my channel so that it's adult collecting just because it's up to the age of 14 and I don't even know if kids are allowed to watch this the same as Family Guy and stuff like that so I'm just I'm just setting it to that okay right so I don't know how that works if the kids are in it to do the unboxings with me um, but you know what um, for Amazon uh, the packaging is actually pretty good because you know, it only had a little bit of paper in there. No box things on the top, uh, no box things at the side, no creases, and yeah, and it says with sound. <laughs> That's really cool. I do like that. So I think they cast this as a six inch pop. So what we'll do, we will take it out of the box, um, just full of rubbish in there, but I say rubbish, but packaging, which is actually saved the pop. I always get my pops. Um, sent to the Amazon locker. I know it's a bit of a risk because you do have it where you got the locker and they could cram it into a small gap, but I have never had any trouble with that. And I find that if they're placing it into the locker, they're gonna place it into a locker that's big enough for the packaging. Um, I haven't had them crush it down to try and put one in and ruin the box at the minute. Um, but I find it easier to do that because you can go pick it up in your, um, in your own time. If you do it in your safe place and stuff like that, there is a chance that they could leave it in the rain and it gets ruined. So. I like to just go pick it up when I want to pick it up. So this has actually been sitting in the locker for a little while, a, a couple of days. Um, and I, I, I completely forgot about it to be fair. And I was driving past the locker and I was like, oh yeah, I've got a pop in there. So I um, went to go get out. So I'm gonna, just gonna get the bottom of the box undone. I just seem too lazy to take it off the um, speaker and have a look inside. So there is some instructions. I've never had instructions in a Fungo Pop before. So. That's new, probably going to tell us about the batteries. Um, yeah, so it's just talking about the batteries. It's boring. Um, right, so we, we want to look at the pop, because the pop is the main thing that we want to see. And I'm hoping that they put batteries in there and I don't have to go find some batteries, because um, I want to hear it now. So. so there you go, so it's got the old, um, I, would, I don't know what you call this, um, portal in the back there, uh, where it's come through. It says on there, it's a new sticker for me, because I've not seen, this is kind of like, an official Rick and Morty sticker to me because it says with sound and it's done in there kind of like splatter. So that's a new sticker that I've seen, um, that I've not seen, shall I say, um, before. Have I, have I got this upside down? I keep thinking I've got the box upside down. But anyway, so here he is and he's in this nice little packaging and he's got this nice little stand. He comes on the same similar stand, how I would class this as the one where Stitch has got the little ducklings, because I do want to get that, because that is mega cute, where he's sitting there reading a book to the little ducklings. That is really cool. If you guys have this pop, um, put it in the comment section below. Tell me what you think of it. Do you love Rick and Morty? Are you not a fan? Uh, we want to know. Let me press the button. Please, please be have batteries in there. Okay, so it's not working. So I'm guessing maybe the batteries have been either not been put in there, or maybe it's the fact that I need to buy batteries. I hope Funko are not gonna make me buy batteries for this. I do have a small screwdriver handy from my model building. So we are gonna quickly undo this because I'm really curious and I wanna check and I did wanna hear it. Um, I'm sure you guys maybe wanna hear fart noises as well. So there's absolutely no batteries in there whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> he could have supplied us some batteries, I wanted to hear it. Guys, we'll have to do another video on this at another time, um, but for now, um, we'll just have to just leave it at that. I thought that Franco may have just put some batteries in here for us, but maybe they don't want to risk the fact that the batteries, uh, or the batteries, um, will 
um, deteriorate maybe and you know maybe there's a health and safety thing I think there might be a health and safety thing because on postal side of things they do ask if things have got batteries in they class batteries as a dangerous item but uh, they could have maybe put them in there separately I don't know if you guys have got this do you think Funko should have put batteries in here or supplied batteries separately in the packaging or do you feel that we're just being a bit cheap even though we've got this for $12.99 anyway it does retail for $29.99 then or 24.99 maybe then you know are we just asking for too much i don't know maybe we just expect a lot from funko because we know they're up in their game and they've got so many licenses at the moment but i'm going to bring this closer to you because i want you guys to see this close up so i'm going to go around and i'll be there in a sec it's just a shame we couldn't have him with his fart noises but I do want to get a nice detailed look of him there for you guys so as you can see here he's wearing his crown he's sitting there on his sacred toilet when it does work we'll get to press that button and he will do fart noises um, or pooing sounds he's got there's so much detail gone into uh, this so you can see his pants there he's got his shoes the toilet roll the toilet rolls even hanging down um, he's got the like expression of straining it says king of shit on his hat so that's really cool there on the back he's just got his bowl pack and then just some nice detailing here and then the official Funko business all under there so you've got that there to show that's official I really do like it I, I do love this pop the fact that you can move his head around hey 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 who's that who's that anyway so um, I could I could have fun for hours I'm a big kid myself uh, but yeah Right guys, um, if you like this video, video, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, please press this subscription button just down here. It's just the one here. It just says subscribe. If you like this video and you want to see more, please press it so you don't miss out on any more. Like I say, if you have been following me, uh, I do a lot of Funko stuff. I'm moving some of the car stuff away at the moment onto hopefully another channel. So we will, we are in talks with that in a minute. But guys, um, thanks very much. Please Please tell me your opinion on this, whether you have it, um, and if you love it, and just let me know. I'll speak to you real soon. If you have any questions, don't forget to comment in the sections. But bye-bye.